Here, we're, here we are. We did it. Yeah. I, <laughs> we're I think. live for our first time, I think. Um, <laughs> not sure if anyone is with us yet. I think we'll. Fly. Not sure if anyone will be with us at all, but we are here <laughs> doing our very, very first live ever yeah. on our channel. And it was really spontaneous. Yeah. Super spontaneous. So uh, we're, we're kind of, you know, practicing. Figuring out as uh, we go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I got kind of like this wild idea, right? Where today uh -huh. we were going to record a regular video. And then um, I just said, hey, um, could we do that live? It seems like a good yeah. one to do live. And so here we are doing this live and we're just going to see what happens. And um, we would like to get to the point where when we are at Disney, we can sometimes do some lives and um, we think that'd be fun for our viewers, right? Yeah, yeah. I think this is something that would really play well to our strengths. Uh, but at the same time, <laughs> uh, we're kind of uh, building the plane after we push it off the cliff right now. <laughs> yes. Before yes. it hits the ground. So, you know, uh, bear with us in terms of everything. <laughs> like I'm acutely, I'm acutely aware of the fact that I'm looking down at the yeah. computer. <laughs> and I wish that that computer was up higher, closer to the camera. So anyway. Yeah. That's a little bit of an adjustment, but, um, well, while we're waiting to see if we can get anybody in with us to maybe visit. We have anyone in the chat. chat. I don't can think you tell us do. if you can hear us? <laughs> please. If anyone comes in, please <laughs> come and tell us if our audio is working. Cause we really want to know about that. So, um, anyway, <laughs> in the meantime, I think that we should share about things we are looking forward to about yeah. our next trip. So what, maybe like dining, what are you most looking forward to on the next trip? Because oh, we have a trip coming up pretty soon. I am torn. Uh, the creperie is, sounds delicious. Yeah. Um, at the same time, there's all the, um, not food and wine, uh, the- uh, Flower and garden. All the flower and garden. Yes. Eats that yes. I am really excited to partake in. So, I mean, you know, there are- so many good treats that I'm I'm just really excited to take advantage of. Me too. Yeah. 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 I actually I had kind of forgotten about there being hi. Audio is working. Hi. Oh, thank you. Hey squirrel757. Nice to see you. How are you today? Um, so yeah, <laughs> when we started planning our trip, we hadn't really thought about it a mm -hmm. lot. I've been so busy with work, and then we started to watch some vlogs and we saw that it's food and wine. And then I got really, or not food and wine, flower and garden. Yeah. And I got really excited because, um, because yeah, we get to do all that. We actually canceled uh, Le Cellier yeah. reservation because of that. So yeah, I mean, Le Cellier, we can go there anytime. Sure. And you know, uh, all, all the festival booths, uh, they're only there on occasion. So. Yeah. Although festivals are kind of year round now. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all the time. So if you are watching, we have a few people watching. Hi everybody. Nice to see you. Hello. Drop a comment in the chat. We would love to mm -hmm. um, say hello and thanks for joining us for our maiden voyage of, <laughs> of going live. Yeah. It's quite an experience. So yeah, um, today we're going to be chatting about the new Polynesian tower. Yeah. That I don't even know what it's going to be called. Polynesian Tower. Polynesian uh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, people have some feelings about this yeah, one. Yeah, I, I think there are definitely Very some Very strong about feelings. It. So we're going to kind of talk about that, fill you in, let you know what we know about it. We would love to hear from you. Um, one of the reasons we wanted to do to go live is so that we have the opportunity to connect more directly with the viewers and with the community yeah. and just give you the chance to kind of um, interact with us a little bit more. And so we thought this would be a good way to do it. So feedback's very helpful. Um, you know, if you're having, if we're having any audio issues or anything like that, that's really helpful Speak to up. know. Yeah. We let us know, it. please, please. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, anybody want to share any uh, favorite things they're looking forward to on upcoming trips? I know we have two trips coming up. Um, kind of one in a few more weeks and then we have one in the summer. So we're starting to get into planning mode for those. And our children sensed <laughs> that we are live and they are like slamming doors and they're like, we must make this difficult. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we normally don't do live is because of kids and a dog. So yeah. <laughs> Hi Len. He says, enjoy your channel. Hi there. Thanks for joining Thank us today. It's, it's nice to uh, chat with you. So, um, well, I think we'll probably get into it. Um, uh -huh. 
with our oh no okay i'm gonna go deal with the kid oh, okay 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 <laughs> and this <laughs> okay come on buddy <laughs> Exit stage right. <laughs> okay. Oh, this out. could be the funniest video we've ever done. <laughs> Laura, hi, good. Laura. Hi. Kids are good. Hi, we have Laura uh, watching lots of our videos and commenting. Um, she says, finally in full planning mode for our trip in August, and we can't wait. Oh, August. Yeah, we go usually in July, and mm. oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. Um, but that's when we can go. So if we're anything like you, you know, that that's when you can go and you just got to go when you can go. Right. So, oh my goodness, six-year-olds and lives maybe don't mix. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. So um, let's see any other, any other comments uh, from folks, go ahead and tell us what you are most looking forward to. Um, Something I was hoping would happen before our next trip is I was really, really hoping that Fantasmic would come back. I am a big, big fan of Fantasmic and it's not back yet. So I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen before this trip, although it looks like um, maybe before we go in July. So let's see. We have another comment here from Adrian. Hi. I wonder how much contracts will be for new villas at Polynesian. Oh boy. Oh boy. We have definitely been speculating about that. Um, I think a lot of people were really shocked. I mean, I was really shocked at how low the new Grand Floridian contracts are. I thought for sure they were going to be 250 plus, And then they came back at 207 for that initial uh, pricing. And so you know, that was shockingly low. I'm pretty sure they're going to raise it pretty soon. I guess that was kind of the initial member price. So uh, I don't know any, any of our viewers, have you, um, have you bought the new Grand Floridian 2, um, you know, expansion? Are you thinking about it? Is it tempting to you? I know a lot of people were excited to see that it was so low and suddenly they went in and bought uh, and then suddenly this announcement about Polynesian. So um, the timing of this is really, really interesting. And um, I think we're going to, now that Randall's back from dealing with children. The, ch the child. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, boy. So <laughs> Len says, Polly is our home resort, but we'll stay there for first time in October. Looking forward to it. Oh, Len, you're going to have so oh, much great. fun at Polynesian. Yeah. I love me some Polynesian. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. a wonderful resort. And that's actually a thought that I had. We're Polynesian owners. Mm -hmm. We thought, you know, it's exciting with this new, I mean, this new tower, exciting yeah. or terrifying. I, I'm not sure which, but um, <laughs> I think it's exciting. But, you know, then there's going to be all this construction for a while. So I'm not sure. Oh, it'll be fine. That. It's just going to be off to the left side. We, uh, well, uh, if you're in Grand Floridian, you're going to see the construction, yeah. but. Yeah. Most of the Polynesian guests won't see much of it at yeah. all, I think, really. And Amy Amy says, do you think that the new addition will be covered if we own resale at Polynesian? We actually have that kind of in our notes. We're going to discuss that. Yeah. And then we'd love to hear um, your feedback on that, too. Yeah. Uh, honestly, we don't know yet, but we'll kind of discuss some pros and cons did you discuss about that. The I did not. Yes. I did not. <laughs> so... Um, Oh, I actually, I want to really quick, uh, let's see. Lynn says, we just bought at Grand Floridian since it was such a great deal. And with incentives was lower than resale. Yeah, Lynn, you really got yeah. a great deal there. That was a, a real surprise. And then Bill says, I got Grand Floridian 200 points, was 186 with incentives. Wow, that, that is a good price. Those oh, changes wow. end, oh, those change end of March. Then it will open up to non current DVC members. So it sounds like some of you really took advantage of that opportunity. Yeah, I would definitely, you know, if you are going to buy any of these resorts, uh, you definitely want to buy right off the. Yeah, the, earlier, the sooner you buy, the yeah. better, because the price will just go up. We yeah. bought Riviera, Riviera. In, like days after it went on sale. Yeah, it knew. was. Yeah. And we got that pretty discounted because. Um, because we're DVC members, they they give a good discount. For yeah. That, so. Uh, so Randall mentioned the shirts he's wearing, a yes. brand new shirt. Boots so and cats and boots <laughs> and cats and. 
<laughs> so um, beatboxing. We do have a, we do have an Etsy shop. It's been really huh? fun creating designs, a lot of which are around music education because I'm a music educator. But um, it was really funny because the whole boots and cats thing, if you're not familiar, is um, I mean it's beatboxing, right? This yeah. is something that's been around for for a long time <laughs> and people will kind of joke about that. A lot of music educators will use that to get, they'll get kids to practice the rhythm and, and the ensemble locking in their pulse together. So we'll yeah. tell them that. And then we watched turning red and then there they were doing this thing that music yeah. teachers do all the time. <laughs> and I thought, Oh, we need to have a shirt with that. So there's his yeah. beatboxing boots and cats shirt. And yo, we have um, a link in our description. <laughs> if you want to check out some of those shirts, it's been really fun designing those. So yeah. let's, let's get into our discussion about Polynesian. Yes, yeah. The Polynesian. Okay. So, um, well, if you are just joining us, uh, we'll just kind of start it here. And welcome to The Magic and the Music. I am Jen. I'm Randall. And we are so excited to get to have our first live with you. It's so yeah. fun to have like real-time interactions with you. I'm, I'm really it's excited. It's like the moment when you took your face mask off at work. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what are these face things in front of me? I don't know how you to know, as interact. A teacher, <laughs> as a teacher, you took, you know, our minds had been filling in what was there. And then we saw people's real mouths and noses and it was like almost shocking. So anyway, <laughs> but here we are live. In a good way? Um, no. Yeah, yeah. So it's been a long time um, since we've had mm -hmm. kind of one of these sit down videos. We've been traveling. Work has been very busy for yes. me lately. Um, but we're back. We're back. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to continue to have videos out on a regular basis. And we also wanted to try kind of some different formats and see what worked best for for mm -hmm. our viewers and for us. So um, anyway, as we're getting through some things at work, um, I'm, we're going to get back to um, a more regular video um schedule. So um, right onto it. Um, today, we're going to be discussing the recent announcement of the yes. brand new DVC tower at the Polynesian. Mm -hmm. So um, that's going to be a new addition to the Polynesian bungalows and villa, villas and bungalows, bungalows and villas, bungalows, bungalows and bungalows. Villa. Villas yeah. and who really stays at the bungalows? It should just be villas. Tell us in the comments if you've ever <laughs> stayed in a bungalows. I've toured uh, one, but I've never. Yeah, stayed I can't in afford that many points. <laughs> yeah. So um, let's talk about what we know so far. Okay. Oh, we actually have a couple comments. We'll come back to those in, in a few minutes here. Yeah. So what do we know so far? So um, just this past week, I guess it was last Tuesday, mm -hmm. we they had a sudden announcement, out of the blue announcement yep. from DVC that they were going to be having this. Polynesian tower expansion, which yeah. I was completely shocked because they recently started selling the Grand Floridian expansion. So there's all yeah. this great buzz around Grand Floridian. And I thought, why would they now distract from that and then suddenly jump over to Polynesian? Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, when I first saw the announcement and I saw the concept art, I thought, oh, that's Reflections. Reflections. Right. And then I did a double take and realized it wasn't reflection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, um, so what do we know? Uh, what is it? It's a hotel tower that's mm -hmm. going to have, well, awesome, awesome uh, theme park views, Magic Kingdom. Yeah, definitely. Um, if you are not aware of the location of this tower, uh, it is, if you are facing the Magic Kingdom, it's off to the left of the Polynesian. Mm -hmm. And it was actually an area that was often used by people for watching fireworks. Uh, so I think that that's going to be less of a good place to watch fireworks from over there. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there went a really, really nice fireworks viewing spot. But, yeah. you know, I guess they're building an even nicer fireworks viewing spot that you'll be paying for. Up top. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it's supposed to open in 2024 sometime. Mm -hmm. Um, based on the concept art, we can conclude it's maybe about 10 stories tall or so. Um, and I think we can safely say that it's going to have dining in that first floor. Yeah. Probably maybe a little bit of retail. I hope. Yeah. So um, we just talked about the location that was in my notes yeah. here. Um, so it's currently the Luau Cove, which uh, is where you would watch the Luau if anyone goes to the Luau. Uh, we haven't done that yet. And, it and I guess like we're never doing that. We'll never get to do it. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, let us know. What do you think of losing the Luau? Do you, mm -hmm. I mean, part of me thinks that they will just relocate it because it's like, well, the Luau just kind of needs to be in a, uh, a well foliage spot. Right. 
you can kind of stick it just about anywhere. It's well, more about the experience. I mean, you could also go to Alani and do a luau there. So it's not like there's yeah. no Disney luau. Right. But I mean, like, people on the East Coast are much less likely to go all the way over there. That's true. You know, for, we're, 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 we're on the West Coast. We're on the West Coast. So, so going to Hawaii is a very normal thing here. Yeah, yeah. It's easier for us to go to Hawaii than it is to go to Disney, actually. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we know about the location. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I know you've done the walk a lot mm -hmm. of times between, it's going to be sandwiched between Grand Floridian's DVC component. Yes. Kind of by the wedding pavilion and the studio there that they have. And then Polynesian. I mean, are you okay with that going there? How do you feel about yeah, that? Yeah, I, I think it's going to turn out great. Um, in terms of how how it's going to be situated, it'll give something there. And honestly, uh, if they do put a food option there, um, that will be much, much closer to go to if you're staying in the Grand Floridian. Yeah, that's true. Um, that'll and I nice. would much rather probably eat Polynesian food than the Grand Floridian food. We tend to um, go to Captain Cook's a lot more when we stay at Grand Floridian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's even though it was like a 10 minute walk. And now, you know, if they put this tower there and there's, some dining there. Uh, I think, you know, that'd be a solid option for getting breakfast. I mean, the there better be quick service. I really hope there's quick service. Yeah. Because Captain Cook's is small. It's small. And I mean, these are the things they have to consider, right? Yeah. Like, I don't think that Captain Cook's can handle any more people. No. It's like already like cramped in there. Um, and I do kind of wonder how all this is going to go together in terms of people being dropped off? Are they going to get dropped off at the other building? Are they going to get dropped off at this building? Transportation is a whole uh, other can yeah. of worms <laughs> that we're going to have to talk yeah, about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so location wise, um, I have an interesting memory uh -huh. of, uh, with that specific location. So, um, a lot of people, you know, it's a remote location. It's kind of far away from everything else. And it's kind of maybe I don't know, a little bit romantic. So yeah. on, on our recent trip to Disney World, which was last summer, I had gone, it was in the afternoon, you had taken the kids to Epcot or something like that. And I had gone over um, to the Polynesian and I was just shopping and doing some different things. I was walking back from the Polynesian and there was nobody really around, but this one couple that was out on the beach there. And I'm kind of walking and approaching and then suddenly the guy gets down on one knee and I'm like, oh, and I stopped <laughs> and I'm looking around and there's nobody <laughs> around except for just this couple like out, you know, yeah. out ahead of me. And I'm just like, he's going to propose. Oh. I, I can't, I can't walk, <laughs> like I can't interrupt them. And so yeah. I just like stop and I'm standing there and I'm just like waiting and I watch him propose and she clearly says yes. Uh -huh. And so then they're like hugging and whatever. And it's this like beautiful moment. And I feel like just totally like, I don't want to interfere with their moment. So then I kind of waited what felt like forever. And, and then Jen, <laughs> and then, uh, that was when Jen started her first live stream. When she no, <laughs> I, did, I did not live stream. That you should have. You should have. No, but I, so anyway, finally, like when I felt like an appropriate amount of time had passed, that like they had had their moment, you know, um, I kind of started walking by because they were kind of off in the sand. Um, and I stopped and I said, would you like me to take a picture? <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay. You know, and so I took some pictures and then went. So anyway, if I ever see those people again, um, yeah. hi. <laughs> and the spot where you got engaged, uh, now apparently you can, uh, you'll can you be able to stay at a hotel there. A DVC yeah. resort there. So there you go. <laughs> It'll be different now. Oh, man. It's a little different. But at the same time, they'll be able to have their, like, uh anniversaries and stuff. There. Maybe they could have their honeymoon there. Oh, there you go. That'd be so cute. Yeah. Well, yeah. if well, they're going to get married in two years. But I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? That was last summer. They could be married already. Oh, yeah, they Who probably knows? are. So. Who knows? All right. Well, um, let's look at some other, we have some other uh, topics. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, this is the big one. Is this going to be part of the, of the existing Polynesian um, association? Well, that's the big question, isn't it? Um, oh, yeah. we have some other comments. You know what? Before we get into that, let's look at some comments from viewers. Let's see. Um, yeah, Amy was asking, is this going to be part of the addition? Um, Bill says it'll be interesting to see if it's an existing condo association or not. Exactly. Yeah. He says, um, Grand Floridian made sense as it's just room refurbs to convert the tower. Um, the new poly is bigger conversion. So 
first of all, we don't know. Yeah, we have no, no idea. Nobody really knows. And there are some pros and cons to that. Mm -hmm. And maybe some things that indicate it might be the same association. And then some things that indicate it might not. Yeah. And we're hearing from people talking to their guides and their guides are telling them mixed things. Some guides yeah. are saying yes, same association. Oh, yes, some are saying be... no. no. So what are the advantages if it is the same association? You know, what does that do for us? Uh, As it, we're Polynesian owners yeah. also. So, so I, I mean, the advantages are uh, no resale restrictions, right? So you don't have to deal with things where, oh, okay, now you, they can only stay here if you resell it. Right, which I hate. Yeah. Uh, they have that. I at think the most of us hate that. So I mean, we don't like the fact that basically it kind of robs the the value of a resale it, yeah. contract for some of these properties. Yeah. Um, so I mean, right there, like we hope it's the same association, I guess, because we would yeah. like to have. Well, if you're buying new, you want it to be the same association mm -hmm. because you don't want to have these resale restrictions put on you. Definitely not. And I'd say. At the same time, uh, we want to be part of the same association if you own as well, because then you can book those rooms. At 11 months. At 11 months. Because if it's not, then you won't be able to. But there is an argument for wanting it to not be the same association that I've heard some people make. And that is that like if you're like us, where we mm -hmm. normally get a studio, occasionally we get a one or two bedroom. But like when our family travels, we normally, especially Polynesian, because they're so big, mm -hmm. uh, we get a studio it's easy to get a studio. And in fact, we rarely have to use our Polynesian points yeah. to stay at Polynesian Polynesian. We can, um, we can book at, uh, we can use our resale contract points yeah. from our other resorts. Uh, they're kind of cheaper points and, you know, and then save our Polynesian ones for something like Riviera where mm -hmm. we can't use our resale points. Right. So, um, if it's the same, um, association, what that could do is it could mean that people are grabbing up the studios mm -hmm. using those points. Mm -hmm. So we don't know. Yeah. We don't it's, really know. It's yeah. And, and at the same time, you know, there is the thing where if they have it part of the same association, then the contract all ends at the same time. Yeah. So you'd get a shorter ownership period. Right. Okay. And then one of the things that, that people were talking about was with Grand Floridian, um, it's the new, the new points, the new contracts mm -hmm. are 42 years, whereas the people who bought at the beginning of Grand Floridian, it was 50. Right. And so this is the same like distribution. So in 2024, you would get a 42 year contract. Mm -hmm if they made the tower the same association. So um, we don't know. We'll, we'll let you know as soon as we know. Um, yeah. I personally think this might be, I kind of thought the Grand Floridian was putting it in the same association was like Disney's way of testing, not having restricted points, like not having the resale restrictions yeah. and then kind of seeing how it went. I think they're going to sell a lot more points. I think they are too. Restrictions. So I think, I think they might yeah. wait and see. And if it's like, a landslide that they yeah. sell way more unrestricted points. Maybe they can choose to make it. I don't know. It's tough because mm -hmm. I feel like they sell all the points anyways. That's true. So, but maybe well, we're not helping. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, encouraging people. It's all our fault. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're helping people decide if they should buy or not. We're like, if you shouldn't buy, don't buy. But yeah. if it's right for you, we're trying to help you. Well, I do, I do <laughs> kind of wonder, you know, like did Riviera, did they say, oh, Riviera sold too slow or did they, like, is it sold out now or no, no, it's no. not. Okay. I don't, I don't know. No, Riviera that. has been a little slow, um, you know, pandemic and everything. So, and I got to tell you now that you have the option of Grand Floridian, I think that that's going to definitely yeah. pull some people away from Riviera. We love Riviera, but we hate the resale restrictions. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, I would kind of love it if this proves to them that, Hey, don't add more resale restrictions. One can hope. We can. Yeah. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. We have, um, let's look at some other topics that, uh, oh, what kind of rooms are they going to have? Well, so the concept yes. art, some people have kind of done like little, I wish we could show this on screen. We'll have to figure that out for our next live stream. Yeah. I think we need to do like a, a streaming art or whatnot. 
us. Yeah, we'll that. do something next time that allows us to share our screen. But um, if you look at like the balconies mm -hmm. on the concept art, you can see that there are different sizes of balconies. Yeah. If these were all studios, it wouldn't look like that. So uh, clearly there are some different room types. I'm sure that there are one, studio one, two, and three bedrooms. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people are thrilled about it. Yeah. I kind of don't care personally. <laughs> It doesn't matter to me, but yeah. a lot of people are really excited and that's great. Well, I mean, I would like to have an option that is bigger than a studio, but smaller than a bungalow. And that's... Well, bungalows, yeah. They're yeah, that's what I mean. Small. It's kind of like either you spend a ridiculous amount of points. I only want to spend almost a ridiculous amount of points and like be able to sleep a few more people. Yeah. I mean, I think it's frustrating for people who happen to have a family of six. Oh, right yeah, you know they're, they're like oh what do i do you, you, well you can't say it's polynesian <laughs> yeah so. oh we have a comment here from dad wars hi dad wars <laughs> um it says uh vgf points will be selling for 207 end of march for non-members mm -hmm. yeah and i think they're gonna do really well with those that's why i'm shocked that they announced this when they did the polynesian uh -huh. tower because you know the things are going great with grand floridian i think they're getting a lot of sales yeah. i think they're having good press about it good vibes yeah. everybody's pretty happy about how that's going some people a little irritated not having the full kitchenette but yeah the full kitchenette that's kind of an oxymoron but anyway <laughs> having the the kitchen kitchenette but uh anyway i where am i gonna make my toast i know all i need is a toaster <laughs> oh, i suppose as long as the toasters uh, yeah. maybe there won't be. Yeah, i don't know that's right <laughs> Let's see. Amy says, how did the Grand Floridian work for their new room? Same contract, but that was just refurbs to the new building. Yeah, Amy, that that's exactly right. So the new um, the new building at Grand Floridian, they went ahead and just were renovating it. And so they kept it as part of the same association as the original Grand Floridian um, DBC. So it has all the same terms. So mm -hmm. therefore, the points are not restricted uh, if you resell them, they um, you know are just like all the other resorts, yeah. not like Riviera, where they're restricted to just the one resort. And that's great. I think that's a, a real positive. Yeah. And so just to give people an idea, the estimates are that there's going to be 200 plus rooms. Right. We've seen all. estimates anywhere from 200 and up. Yeah. And what we, we can't see is the backside. We don't know yeah. what's on the other side of this building. Yeah. We, have there, no we know the monorail is going to go right behind it. Right. So. But, you have a rather intimate monorail view. Yeah, you're like, I <laughs> like waving at people. <laughs> and and then it faces towards um shades of green. All right. So I mean that uh, could be yeah. kind of nice if you were up on a higher floor. You yeah, know, I to look so. out at shades of green might be nice. Yeah, well, all Florida is flat anyways. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an elevation of three feet or something. So yeah. Um, so okay, what kind of amenities is this gonna have? So let's talk about the amenities for a minute. Yes. And um, yeah. So let's see amenities. Well, it's right on the beachfront. So yep. it's kind of, I guess a little bit beachier because the Polynesian is sort of beachy, but you have to go out, you know, this will be, I think closer. Yeah. I think it'll beach. be very close to the beach. I think it's going to be like right on top of the beach. Yeah. You know, I was thinking when I first saw it, that it almost might be more of like a Waikiki beach, like high rise yeah. sort of vibe. Like, you know, urban, tropical, right. not so kind of rustic. Right. And I think that that's, I think maybe that's why, I know some people are kind of bent, getting bent out of shape of the the design of it. They're not so into how how it looks. I'm right? still not sure about it. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure either. <laughs> but I, I also kind of feel like this is one of those things where you should give it time and space, you know, right? Today it looks kind of weird and different, but you know, when, when they execute, right. That's, that's when you can say it's actually ugly. Right. You know, or maybe it'll be great. Maybe it'll be great. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that's what I'm saying. I, I think that, you know, this is maybe the difference between Boulder Ridge and Copper Creek, right. Boulder Ridge is a bit more rustic. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the North, the standard Polynesian area is, is going to be considered more rustic -ish. i'm gonna say retro right re yeah retro retro and maybe uh this new tower is going to be kind of more modern yeah kind i can see that i can see that and i think you know 
I, I think it's kind of nice to have a mix, right? It's, you know, you can have kind of like things that are a little bit more retro and a little bit more modern. Yeah, I, I could see that. So, you know, again, we'll see when it happens, you know. Um, mm -hmm. It's different for me when I, when they made the announcement about Riviera, I was like, she was like, we're buying, in. we're buying this, <laughs> take our money. We're buying this. I, we don't have like a loads of Riviera points, but I no. knew we were going to own a contract there. hundred yeah. percent. I was waiting. Like as soon as it goes on sale, I want it. <laughs> and, um, and with the Polynesian one, I'm kind of like, well, maybe I don't really need more points, but maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it depends on if it's the same contract, if it's the same contract, then I don't think we need to add more on. But if it's like, well, you mean if they're restricted points, I don't really want to buy restricted points. Yeah, there's that too. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. Talking about oh, amenities, um, it looked like there was a pool. I think another pool would be a nice addition at Polynesian. Yeah. So. I don't, it's definitely not going to be like a big pool, but I mean, mm -hmm. it's going to be a pool. Yeah. Then, and it's going to have really amazing views. Yes. This probably will have some kind of cool lounge some or of, something. I, I really hope they have a cool lounge. It would be a huge opportunity missed if they did it. Yeah, I mean, it's just... You want, like, Trader Sam's. <laughs> well, not maybe not, yeah. Or, like, um, the uh, the lounge at Bay Lake Tower, you know. Yeah, Top of the World Lounge. Top of the World Lounge, you know. Top of the Poly Lounge. Yeah. We want to... Like Disney, give us Top of the Poly Lounge. That's what we want. <laughs> top of the Poly. <laughs> yeah. We got some more comments. Let's check out the comments from some viewers here. Let's see. Um, um, let's see. When? Um, uh, Judy says, uh, Villas of Grand Floridian may be sold out by 2024 when Polly is finished. I would not be surprised, honestly, because it's, it's it a good be. price and seems to be really well received. Um, Len says, our guide mentioned when I bought Grand Floridian recently that they much rather, they'd much rather be selling properties without resale restrictions. So hopefully they will continue in this direction. Well, I mean, it's certainly got to be easier for the guides to sell yeah. without resale restrictions. Although, you know, there are always going to be buyers who, are just unaware of yeah. that and don't know about resale and stuff. And so that's always going to be a certain percentage. I think they have to disclose that, right? Well, like, yeah. If somebody you know, asks, if you're, yeah. Well, but I think if you're like a guide, you kind of say, well, there is this one big caveat to the Riviera, right? <laughs> you know, I don't know. We haven't been guides. So no, we it's hard for us <laughs> to say, cause we haven't been in that situation. Um, and then Andrew says, I'm wondering if there will be resale restrictions on the Disneyland tower holding out for no, mm. but I know they can be pretty, can pretty much do or change whatever and people will do it for Disneyland. Uh, Andrew, you're right. Yeah. You're right. People are falling over themselves to give them money for Disneyland. I think that's my impression. Yeah. When we were at Disneyland in late January, yeah. our experience was that even just regular DVC members were just kind of peasants. <laughs> Right. <laughs> there were lots it, of people like, with lots of money to spend. There was definitely some California cash there. Yeah. Nobody, I, I don't want to put, I, I, it's a wonderful resort. Oh yeah. But I just no, definitely great. felt like, you know, um, it was kind of like move along, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't like, think it was, I didn't, it was, uh, yeah. Okay. That was maybe <laughs> some of the club 33 people were like, don't make eye contact with me. <laughs> well, I, was, I, was, I was like the concierge or club 33 concierge desk was kind of like, they, they just didn't like see us really. <laughs> yeah. Like I wanted to ask them like where the restroom was and they were giving me serious. Don't talk to me vibes. Yeah. No, I, I, I think Maybe they're sending emails. <laughs> yeah. <It's Maybe>. like... <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think in California, Oh, there are, there's plenty of, yeah. there are plenty and of people I, who will just do whatever. And I mean, most of the West coast, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people over here on the West coast, they don't make the trek out to Disney world. Mm -hmm. They are not familiar with the, what's great about Disney world. Yeah. They think um, it's the same as Disneyland. They yeah. think it's the same size and size everything. and yeah. kind of experience. And, um, you know, I, I think there's just so many people out here, you know, so it's, they, they can charge a lot. So yeah, they can't, it's supply and demand. I don't know. Either way, I want to stay there. So, I mean, I hope not too many people. I hope I hope they don't sell it out so fast that, like, we won't be able to stay there just once. Yeah, someday we'll stay there. Right. <laughs> Cross my fingers. All right. <laughs> um, so, uh, another thing we wanted to just mention is, doesn't this look eerily like Reflections? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Could it be? A lot of people were <laughs> were thinking that it was recycled. Yeah. I, I mean. But then again, it's just modern architecture, More modern right? architecture. Yeah. I don't it's, know. I don't know. It, yeah, it's kind of reflections like reflections ish. Yeah. I liked the look of reflections. I wish it had been built where they had planned to build it. I mean, it, that just it might just be that this is the, the designer, right? You know, oh, like, like how Grand Floridian and Animal Kingdom Lodge and Grand Californian, yeah. um, they all kind of look the same. Like they're the same lobby layout yeah. and the whole deal. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that's kind of the design aesthetic of mm -hmm. this designer that they have on staff. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't be surprised if that's part of it. Right. It's like a John Williams piece, right? Yeah. You kind of always know a John Williams piece without even knowing it is. Yeah. And it's, it's like, I think the same goes for design, right. You know, um, you, you definitely can tell the differences. Right. They kind of have a calling card. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I agree. Um, I mean, and I like it. It's a nice yeah. look. I'm not, sure if it's as much escapism i want might want a little more escapism at disney than that but you know we'll see we'll see yeah. what it's like um so will we be buying points here hmm. I, I can't afford more points <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i mean i never i thought okay i thought for sure we were done buying points yeah. i thought this is it like we're done after our last resale we're not done. a couple of years ago, <laughs> we're done. I was sure like, this is it. We definitely have more than enough points. Yeah. And then they announced this tower and I was like, hmm, maybe, I, maybe. I, I don't know. Probably not. We're probably fine. Yeah, we're probably fine. I mean, I if think... we do add on, it's going to be small. Yeah. It's not going to be much. Yeah. And I... And it will definitely be early on because we'll have done the math and said, oh, okay, this is going to be the best deal to take advantage of. So, yeah. But if, if we do, I mean, like, probably no more than 75 points or something like that. Yeah. Just maybe enough to take advantage of, say, a one bedroom or maybe occasionally a two bedroom, something like that. I mean, I kind of think it depends on the resale restrictions. Yeah. I think. Oh, you know, I don't, I don't want to give them my money if they do yeah. resale restrictions. I'm out. Yeah. I don't want to support that. All right. Well, we got a few more comments. Let's look at our comments and then we'll kind of wrap things up here. Um, let's see. Um, Andrew. Oh, we already talked to Andrew. Let's see. Um, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Says, thinking of DVC, but I'm worried about getting stuck at my home resort ad nauseum. What is your experience with getting into a different resort at the seven month mark in the summer or at other times? Well, mm. Thomas, I have some good news for you. The summer has not been too bad. Yeah. It's actually um, been pretty good. Um, it's funny because a lot of people don't realize that DVC's booking seasons mm -hmm. are kind and like peak times are not the same as Disney World's peak times. Yeah. So DVC gets really busy during food and wine in the fall. Mm -hmm. And in particular, early December, we have booked, we had booked this past year, we had um, December, early December booked mm -hmm. and, um, someone we were going to travel with had an injury and they weren't going to be able to walk. So we've postponed and we'll do that later. Um, but we've, our experience booking those weeks was that we needed our home resort yeah. booking advantage at 11 months to get yeah. the first half of December. It was just very busy. Um, but the summer summer is pretty has good. Been not bad. Yeah. And so if you, if you like to travel in the summer, I think that you'll have a good experience with that. I think that you'll have some options. The other thing I will say is if you, want to book at different resorts like we enjoy resort hopping yeah i hope you like resort hopping because you might get three nights here and you might get five nights here and you might get three nights over here and then you can piece together a really really great vacation with mm -hmm. that um i mean you yeah. do have to deal with like the sun it's hot <laughs> it, the is, sun? <laughs> it is hot it's hot yes it's hot Very i mean hot. bring your cooling towel your fans your secondary fans. Um, it's yeah. okay. It's, it's worth it. It's worth look, it. Yeah. Us. It's, and I mean, honestly, when we go during the summer, we always prioritize like inside hallway resorts. Yes. When, when you, <laughs> that's a good tip. When you go in the summer, we try to book resorts where the hallways are interior yeah. hallways. So, like, love you, Saratoga Springs, but we're not doing that in the summer again. We've done that. No. We're not doing that. There are some hot walks. <laughs> yes, very, very <laughs> like, hot. Oh, so we'll march. save that resort for the, the winter. 
So cooler months. A um, mm. couple more comments here, and then we're going to probably wrap things up. Let's see. Um, Fred. Hi, Fred. Says, based on what DVC did with the new Grand Floridian rooms, I'm guessing that the prices of these rooms will match what they are also selling at the time. Well, I mean, Grand Floridian came in lower than expected. Yeah. So yeah, Polynesian, I need to double check. I think Polynesian is like in that same range, like 250, 255. Mm -hmm. It's sold out price right now. So I guess we can maybe assume that they might actually sell this below that. I mean, a lot can know. happen in two years, I guess. Yeah. I mean, either way, I th I do think that things are going to rebound a lot. I mean, I it just depends on what happens in two years. Like if everything springs back to being full capacity all the time, it's going to be expensive. Like there's no doubt about yeah. it. Wouldn't it be nice if they build another park so we could yeah. have room for all these lovely guests that are staying at Disney World? You use a fifth gate. I would really like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, and Kat. Hi, Kat says, I'm kind of holding out for Disneyland Hotel Towers since it's a shorter travel for me. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, I really don't think, it, no matter where Disneyland Tower is priced, you probably can't go wrong adding on there. Yeah. So, or buying there, like, I think you're going to be good to go. Um, Judy says, um, oh, I bought at Saratoga Springs in September 2019 and have never stayed there. Yes. Saratoga That's... Springs points are workhorses. Yeah, definitely. That's a great value. I mean, honestly, in terms of getting resorts, if you are strategic and you kind of pick up and are willing to to hop from hotel to hotel, you know, you could literally not stay in the resort that you bought your points from. So yeah. Yeah. Although Saratoga Springs is great, too. It just yeah. kind of depends on your needs. Although, I mean, if you want to go in late December, you must have 11 months. Or booking. I would say even early December is actually worse. Because yeah. the rooms are cheaper. So oh, that, wow. that's what impacts it. Um, and let's see. Andrew says, will Polly have the new hotel DVC studio model? It feels like it's just another way to cha charge more for a deluxe studio. Well, Andrew, we don't know. Mm -hmm. But I have a feeling. <laughs> probably. When you say the new. Oh, you mean you, like having two those, queen beds? Uh, yes. Where it's more like yeah. an actual. Um, the Grand Floridian one what do they call those resort studios? Yeah. I think they're calling them resort studios and it's, it's a hotel room. That's what I, it is. I don't think they're going to have that though, because here's the thing. I think that they still want to have, I, I think that that was just a restriction of those rooms, right? I think in order for them to add a kitchenette for those rooms, it was just going to be prohibitively difficult, right? They weren't going to be able to add a sink because that requires plumbing. Right. So they said, OK, what's the best we can so do? So you think that might just be a Grand Floridian? Yeah, I thing? think that's just a Grand Floridian thing. Um, but what I do think they might do is I think they might have a micro studio. Of oh, some like sort. a tower studio, like a tower studio. Mm -hmm. I could see that. happening. So that would be sleeping like just two people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting because the tower studios at Riviera, they're fairly popular. They book mm -hmm. up pretty quickly. Um, they weren't, I don't think they're overwhelmingly popular, right. but they're uh, solid. You know, people want them. Like yeah. it isn't like they're going empty. People want them. Yeah. Um, so I think that they could do a component like that, but it's not like they're going to make, you know, hundreds of that. No, room. no. Cause they're, not. That, that's not what they need. I mean, maybe that'd be like max 12, 15. Well, I mean, 20. tower studios, it's only, it's, there are three of them on like, I don't know, seven or eight floors. So it's not very many. Yeah, yeah. So anyway. Or maybe they'll do an ultra micro studio. <laughs> that's going to be like the places in Japan where it's just like a box. <laughs> and you just like crawl into the box. I want like the Harry Potter experience. <laughs> yes. Where they just cram me right <laughs> underneath the staircase, you know? Oh, you have the under the stairs studio? I want the under the stairs studio. Oh, and yes. it's like five points a night. <laughs> Actually, it should be lower. It should be like two points a night. You and... have to use the bathroom down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> kind of more youth hostel kind yeah of. <laughs> there you go i want the youth hostel ex no i don't i really <laughs> Not don't want that doesn't play into the uh, luxurious <laughs> expensive feel of no i don't think it does <laughs> well um so you, you we were discussing this uh before um that uh is who are the winners and losers in this we'll kind of oh. wrap up wrap up here today with this Winners. Who wins and loses with this Poly Studio or this Poly Tower? I think uh, I think DVC members are winning. Okay. On this, I think no matter what, it's going to be well. 
definitely if you're existing points owners and you are unrestricted, then you know you're winning here because this is going to be another great place that you can stay. And you won't if you have a family of six, right? You actually have a place to stay yeah, at that's the true. Polynesian. I mean, if you love Magic Kingdom and you want to go to Magic Kingdom a lot, yeah. you want more options in that Magic Kingdom area, then you're winning with this for yeah. sure. Um, if you got money to burn, <laughs> you're winning by having more options. Yeah. Um, who loses? Oh, Ooh, gosh. I, maybe Grand Floridian owners who like to stay in the the Grand Floridian building. Yeah. Because some I mean, of them are going to now be staring straight at this tower. It's not all the rooms. It's just kind of that one side. They're more standard view. And they will have to deal with the construction yeah. for like the next couple of years. Yeah. Um, I mean, on the flip side, they'll if they have good food there, they'll win because of that. Yeah, that's true. That's so, true. I mean, you know, there's... So, I was going to say losers are going to be people who stay at Polynesian or Grand Floridian during this construction. Right, during that construction. <laughs> yeah. So, that's that's not the best. Yeah, that's those are definitely the losers yeah. in this whole thing. I mean, and I will say though, I do feel like if they are restricted points, then yeah, you know, if you don't already own Polynesian, then you're gonna be or I mean it's well, if it's restricted points, then resale buyers. Resale buyers are gonna be yeah, that's not gonna be happy. Rough. Yeah. Well, so, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot happening here. Oh, uh, one last comment I want to get. We have Andrew who says something more value driven for DVC and the monorail loop would be super popular. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, that's, that's it, right? Like yeah. that's what people are really after. Like the, like a standard view studio at Bay Lake tower, you know, yeah. one of the most popular rooms on property. So, well, it's also, you just look at this and you say, this is some very valuable real estate. It is. And yeah. you know, um, there they, isn't a lot left that they can build around Seven Seas Lagoon. They can oh, go yeah. off to the west. There's a little bit of room, mm -hmm. you know, past Grand Floridian. And then there's this area that's over before, like kind of by the TTC. Mm -hmm. And apparently they were going to build a resort there back when they were opening, but that it has like issues, uh, like it's sinkhole kind of issues. Oh, and I don't know if they can build on it. Yeah. So they're they're kind of locked into certain spots. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess. And the nice thing about that is they don't have to worry about it. So it's it's a known known quantity. That's true. Well, hey, there's a lot, a lot to watch for yeah. um in this new tower. It's really exciting. I mean, more I think generally speaking, more DVC resorts is good for DVC owners. And we have more options and yeah, and and it's gonna be cool. So it'll be interesting to see what new developments come out with this. We will keep you updated on mm -hmm. our channel. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been really, really nice to get to chat with some of you. And yeah. um, we would love to do uh, some live stuff from Disney World. Pretty soon we'll be out there in a few more weeks. And so if that's something you'd like, maybe let us know in the comments. And we will try to do that. Like, what would you like to see live? Or do you want us to do a live from a resort? So you can kind of get the feeling of being at the resort. So we're, we're really interested yeah. to know um, how you like that. Yeah, I can like a uh, live stream from the uh, as I recline, having this nice drink. <laughs> I'm just thinking, am I? I can't, I can't wait. I, think that's I can't wait mean. for our that's vacation. No, uh, I'm yeah. like so ready for our vacation. Yeah, I'm we're like, really ready. We need this. We need this. <laughs> yeah, check with your friends who are teachers. I'm a teacher because the teachers are not okay. We're. we're Right. everybody's kind of like ah. i think everybody's not exactly okay <laughs> right now but yeah. uh, anyway thank you so much for joining us i think we're gonna sign off and um it's been really fun to get the opportunity to interact with you all today and to hopefully you got to know us a little bit better as well this is what this is unedited raw us, raw even with kids barging in so. yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's nothing more real than that yeah so yeah. anyway hey thank you so much and um Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel if you want to yeah. get more of our content. Lots of Disney, music, DVC, family fun stuff. And uh, go check out that Etsy shop if check you want to see some of our fun t-shirt designs. Thank you. Bye. Thanks so much. Bye.